Chirag.com here with Kings MMA's Rafael Cordero. Just after Fabricio Verdum's unanimous decision victory over Travis Brown in the main event, we'll be challenging Cain Velasquez at a date to be named later in Mexico for the heavyweight title. A lot of people might have predicted Fabricio to win, but maybe on the ground, but he was able to outstrike Travis Brown. Talk about why he was able to do that. Because Fabricio, like he said before, he trained hard for a long, long time. He swings a move to the United States seven, almost seven years ago. He moved to and uh, we keep in, in, a, in a tremendous connection. He never missed training. He trained hard more than a lot of fighters than I have. And uh, he's the future, so he changed all his game. If you look Fabrice today, you, you, you don't know if he come from Jiu Jitsu or he come from Muay Thai. He developed his stand up game. He trained hard every day with good guys. So I have a great guys in my gym, Kings MMA, and uh, we're so proud of him. What are your thoughts on uh, Dana White's comments that he thought Fabricio played a little bit safe down the stretch and that he could have finished him? Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. It's not my opinion. In my opinion is uh, Travis is a tough dude, and uh, you need uh, he deserves all respect that you have. Fabricio tried for a couple of times, knock him out, but sometimes if you open your game, something can happen. He can throw a, a hook or something. He has hard hook. If you move forward a lot, he can count on you. So heavyweight division is really hard to play safe, you know. Because it's your life there. The guys are huge guys, all those guys are huge guys. But it is then opinion to, to my, my opinion, Fabrizio did his his best to knock the Travis out all the time when he had chance. At the same time he's respecting his hands, respecting his kicks, his knees, so this is my opinion. Talk a little bit about conditioning. Seemed like Fabricio did a pretty good job of kind of maintaining an even keel throughout the whole 25 minutes going in. Did you expect conditioning to be an advantage in this fight? Uh, for sure. Fabricio trained hard with Cobrinha. Cobrinha is no amazing, just no amazing jiu-jitsu coach, but is an amazing conditional coach. So he helps us a lot. And uh, he put Fabrice in shape, in good shape, to handle all kind of training, not just jiu-jitsu, but Muay Thai too. And uh, for the next fight, he's going to be better. He's going to be in a better shape and uh, stronger than ever, because now he's changed his life. The chance he fight for all his life. He has opportunity now to fight for the belt. And for sure, all team is going to help him. We will support him, whatever he needs. Let's put the best guys to help him, and uh, for sure, the, the belt's coming. And now that he's kind of getting more in the spotlight, I think more people are getting to see it. But Fabricio's got a really good personality as a guy that's a potential star. You see him joking around at the press conference. He was having fun in the fight. I mean, comment on that a little bit about his star potential as a guy that can kind of represent the UFC going forward. Fabricio, he speaks Spanish really, really good. He worked on FC Network. And uh, <clears throat> he's this, his spirit is so, he's like a child. He's a big child, and uh, where, wherever he where, wherever he goes, he he make everybody smile. He puts smile in everybody's face. So um, we're glad to have him <coughs> next to us to to make us better person. Sometimes he when he fight, he he he, he bring all those energies from inside the octagon. He's, a, he's happy with his life, so he's a blessed guy. He has a great family, one new baby now, Joanna and Julia. So when he fights, he fights not just for him, he fights for all, for all people around him. And uh, this makes him happy, so he don't have a pressure over his back. He, if he is, is different when you fight with no respect. When it's totally different when you fight with no respect, when you fight happy. Fabis fight happy all the time. When he lost, because he don't fight the way he, he likes to fight. He make, I think, in my opinion, he, he's totally relaxed when he play these jokes and uh, works, you know. Thanks a lot, works, and he can play, he can play forever. <laughs> you know, you're trying to enjoy this victory, but looking ahead, how do you feel he matches up with Cain Velasquez? Cain has looked really good in a lot of his fights, known for his relentless conditioning, just relentless pace. How do you see that playing out, and when do you get to work on that? How long do you get to enjoy this before you get back to work? Maybe one week, Fabricio, for sure, we, we talked before the fight, he want to stay out for one week. He felt a little bit his chin, he threw a lot of kicks and uh, his foot a little bit. But uh, in one week he can come back, no back harder than ever, but he can start working his conditioning again. And uh, 
Ken Velasquez is the tough dude, one of the toughest guys in the world, and uh, he deserves all the best. He deserves a great, great fight, and so we're going to put a great show for him. And uh, I believe he, Fabricio, he's going to put a great show. UFC fans, check this out. If we could just get a, another comment on uh, Rafael Dos Anjos' tough fight with uh, Habib Nurmagomedov, two top ten lightweights. Was Nurmagomedov more smothering than even you expected? You knew about his Sambo skills. Was it even more impressive than you expected? Rafa, he, he, he did a great job. He put all his heart there. We're very proud of, uh, about him. So his opponent, he put a great show tonight. He was superior and his wrestling, and that makes different the fight. The, the wrestling makes different the fight. It's a, really, it's, a, it's a big lesson for us. Work more and more and more our wrestling. And uh, that's it. Rafa, he's the man. For sure, coming up, he's going to fight for the belt. Soon as soon as he can, he's going to fight for the belt because he deserves. One fight, no change enough with what he did before inside the UFC. So uh, we, ha we had a great lesson tonight. Why do we need to work more? We're gonna work more and more and more. Not just with Fab not just with Ralph, but with Fabrizio too. And uh, we ha we always have something to learn, and we learn a lot of things tonight. When it can be better and better and better.